Hello everyone, this is CY once again. Thanks for joining me. It's a peaceful night and uh, I'm just going to brew a cup of coffee using the CT62. And it's a relatively new dripper, right, just to share. This is the design of the dripper. Right, it's, it's got uh, one, two, I think there are 12 longer ribs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve shorter ribs as well. And the design is pretty interesting because it's straight all the way down and then you start to change the angle um, towards the end here. So I think there is a slower flow at the bottom and then there's a faster flow at the side. And the design of this dripper is um, technically the filter paper should appear you know, very um, flat, flush onto the side of the dripper. So this is what I'm going to do, right? I'm going to try using our Ethiopian Sidamo, which is roasted on the 27th of July, uh, sorry, 27th of January this, uh, this year. Um, then I'm going to use my ZP6 uh, to grind coffee. Uh, probably I'm going to do a 15 gram dose. Then we see how the coffee, uh, how the flavor of the coffee tastes like. So let's get started. Let's measure about 15 grams of coffee. This batch of Ethiopian beans are slightly smaller, smaller in, uh, in terms of the bean size. Um, but um, it has a uh, very strong berries, especially the strawberry notes. It's pretty distinct. Right, um, in gram exactly. So just bear with me. Today is going to be a slow one. I'm not going to rush too. So I'm just going to take my time to do the steps slowly. So let's grind the coffee first. On my Easy Presso ZP6, I'm actually currently. Uh, let me see what's the setting current. I'm currently setting at uh, four, grind setting of four. All right, let's pour the beans in. Okay, let's put this aside. I'm afraid that I'm actually not going to do it, right? Pretty easy to grind on the Easy Presto ZP6. Ethiopian beans tend to be harder, and this is a light roast, but um, it is not too difficult to grind. I'm taking my own time to grind the coffee, so I'm not grinding at a very fast speed, I'm just taking it slow. Okay, so we hear nothing else, so that means the grinding is completed. Okay, let's pour the coffee back into the dosing cup and see uh, the retention of the ZP6. Wow, the notes is so sweet. Right, 14.9 to about 15 grams, so I would say it's pretty close to um, zero retention. All right, naturally, the Hand grinder usually will give you very low retention, right? So that's uh, usually the case. Okay, let's put those at P6 aside, and then let's start to prep, right, for the cough for the uh, trippers. So I'm actually using my origami stand here, right? This this is my dripper, which I use uh, my Kalita Wave for a cupcake style paper on this. Works really well, right? This one sits on it really nicely. So this is the plastic one. 
right? So today I'm going to use that. I'm going to use this, right? I have uh, the blue color one. Uh, it, actually, initially I want to get the pink color one with the black color stand, but uh, apparently it's out of stock. Let's pull the paper slowly. Right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna um sort of rinse the paper from the bottom and going up. Hopefully it will actually adhere to the side naturally without me having to adjust it. So let's see whether we are able to do that. Let me zoom in a little bit so that you can see better. Now the temperature of water is at 92. Right, it's the temperature that I like. Usually we can go a little bit higher. So you can see that uh, there's still side, this side that's not uh, touching the wall very well. So I still have to do a little bit of adjustment. Um, I saw on the internet, uh, probably uh, not internet, sorry, the other e-commerce platform like Taobao. They actually sold uh, something that help you um, align your filter paper right uh, nicely to the side. So you can see it's, it's not that easy actually. Okay, so the, I didn't do a good job. I think uh, this B60 paper is kind of hard right, to, to really lie flat onto the side. You can see it's not fitting really well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to rinse a little bit more water. I can see it's a slightly not slightly smaller, I believe. So I think this is the O1 size, right? But uh, I think this one will fit the O2 better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm going to try to push it down slightly, so it should fit much better now. Right, so you can see it's adhering to it to the site better now. Right, I'm wasting quite a bit of water. Right, to make sure that everything is fitting. Right, it's really wasting a lot of water, but uh, let's just do it properly. Right, so that. Okay, so I think that's uh, good enough. Okay, let's bring the water temperature up. You can see the amount of water that I rinse through. Okay, let's start the rain scale. Fifteen grams of coffee. Right when it's transferred over is 14.8. The coffee smells really good. Flatten it slightly. I'm gonna gently dig a hole. Right, water is at 92. Let's tear it. Start the timer. Let's do a bloom of uh, 40, 40 grams of water. Oh, let's do 50 grams. Right. Let's let it bloom for about 30 seconds. Okay. Let's do 70 grams of Water, so it's going to go up to 120.
another 70 grams of water. I'll be doing slightly more than 1 is to 15. Probably I'll be doing 1 to 16 to 1 to 17 ratio. The last part, the temperature has dropped a little bit. So I'm actually using the declining um, brewing temperature. Right, so last, I'll be doing a 60 gram. So we'll be ending at 250. Right, the final temperature that I've uh, used is about 89 degrees. So over the three minutes time, the water temperature has dropped about three degrees Celsius. I will call that pretty okay. Right, so everything completes in about two and a half minutes. So you can see that the flow is slightly faster as compared to the normal um, either V60 or Kalita uh, kind of filter paper that I've uh, used before. Let's get a cup to cool this, and then we're going to try the coffee. All right, first, let me show you the color. I like to swirl it before I drink it. And it's off the um, scale now. So let's get a glass and then let's try the coffee, right? Okay, let's try the coffee. Once again, I'm going to use my beer glass from Tiger. Okay, not, advertise, not advertising for them. I'm going to pour a little bit first. Oh, smells really good. Let's try it while it's hot. Wow. The berry note is really popping, but there's a balance of body. I can taste the, the body of the filter coffee. Normally, if I do the Ethiopian Sidamo on my other drippers, usually it tends to be a clearer cup. But this one somehow, especially on the ZP6, it tends, it tends to give me a very clear coffee. Uh, it means a high clarity. Uh, it, usually there's not much body to the, the Ethiopian, yeah, especially the Sidamo, which I've uh, roasted. But this particular coffee has got a better body as compared to my other blue, uh, other blue uh, dripper, right? Uh, be it the Deep 27 or the normal. Uh, the dripper that I use in the cafe, which is actually from MHW3 Bomber, is a hybrid between the uh, Kalita and the V60. Uh, but this one, there's actually a body. Mm. The sweetness is, is just outbursting, right? Normally on the ZP6, I tend to get a brighter uh, coffee, uh, slightly more on the slightly acidic side. Um, Acidic and juicy. This one is juicy, sweet, with good body of balance. So pretty interesting dripper, right? Um, it flows a little faster, 
I think at least 30 seconds faster as compared to my other papers, but usually I, I prefer to do a 20 gram dose. Uh, today we only did a 15 gram dose. So probably the lower dose also, of course, uh, reduce the drawing time. The smell is really robust, right? Uh, the this, this outbursting with this the berries notes. Yeah, so I really like the stripper. Uh, it, it, it tends to highlight the sweetness more than the acidity, and uh, it also gives you a very good balance of body. So that's so far, I've used it the second or the third time on the CT62. So um, whether is it um, worth buying? I think the tricky part for me at least is when I try to use the V60 paper from Hario, uh, the, just now the filter paper from Hario, right? Uh, I couldn't really fit it um, maybe um, well in the beginning. So I have to take out the line, um, try to push the uh, filter paper deeper into the dripper. Then I pour water again and try to pull it right, pull it to the side. Then you actually adhere to the side wall very well. Uh, I find that on the V60 it tends to be slightly easier because I, I do not I do not expect the the V60, the center V60 to have the filter paper adhere so well to the wall. Right? Sometimes they would be have uh, they would have a little bit of uh, uh, popping out and maybe air pockets at the back. But this one is different. This one if you do it slowly, um, maybe uh, let me know whether you have any ways to uh, do it better or any tools that you can recommend to you know, to, to put the computer paper uh, fitted well to the and, 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 and touching the all the wall of the paper properly. Right? So if you have the method, please let me know in the comment section down below. I'll be uh, very uh, excited to find out how, where can I get these tools or you have any methods you can suggest. Right, so let me try the copy again. Right, mm. it's a very nice copy. Cheers. You know what? I like actually like it slightly warmer than slightly colder. Even when it's warm. The, the sweetness is still there, and uh, I, I find that when it's warm, it has a slight acidity, which I like it better. Um, I like a uh, sweetness plus acidity, a little bit of acidity, and then uh, the good body, right? So this one, this dripper actually brings all these together, right? So thanks for joining today. Um, I hope you find, um, I, I hope I, I have generally some interest in getting the CT60, I mean, the CT62, it's a very interesting paper. I, I like, I really like the design, right? Uh, yeah, so that's all for, for you today. I will see you tomorrow, By right? Tomorrow is Wednesday. I will still be at uh, the cafe starting uh, the shift, and I'll do a live again at around 9 to maybe 9 o'clock, right? So I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for joining, and have a good night.